geographical location of Lithuania as a small but relevant territory connecting east and west as well as north and south determined its transit nature. Railway represents a very important type of transport from the strategic and economical point of view. Therefore, it is not by accident that mighty neighbors, after having occupied the territory of our state, used to make the Lithuanian railway conform for their needs. In 1858, the authority of Tsarist Russia started building the sections Dogovpils, Vilnius, Kaunas, Kibarty of the railway St. Petersburg, Warsaw. On the 15th of March in 1862, the traffic of the railway St. Petersburg, Vilnius was launched. It was the starting point of the history of Lithuanian railway. After the restoration of Lithuania's independence in 1990, the integration into the West became the key goal of the state. New challenges have been revealed to the Lithuanian railway as well. The idea to build the European railway in the Baltic states emerged in the beginning of the last decade of the 20th century. On the 12th of January 1993, the government of the Republic of Lithuania established direction of European Standard Railway of Lithuania. In 1997, during the third Pan-European Transport Conference, the South-North European Corridor has been recognized as a priority. On the 29th of April in 2004, the European Parliament and the Council of Europe has approved the priority list of transport projects, including the project Rail Baltica of Poland, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. So, what is the importance of the project Rail Baltica to the state of Lithuania and its citizens? It is indeed a strategic project, which is important not only for Lithuania, but for the whole Baltic region. The project will connect the post-Soviet area and the Western Europe by the narrow gauge track. If we speak so much about the need of energetic integration with the European Union, we should not neglect the transport integration, and today terrestrial routes seem to be the only connecting mean. Such a project would allow developing an alternative track linking Poland and the whole Western Europe via Poland to the Baltic states, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia. Implementation of big-scale projects of infrastructure requires accumulating considerable resources. Is our state able to implement the project of such scale independently? It would be an overload for Lithuania as a small country taking into account a pretty big cost of such projects. We would not be able to implement this project separately without getting assistance from the Cohesion Fund or the TN Executive Agency. Therefore, this project is inscribed into the priority list of EU transport projects. Thus, it means that a partial financing from the EU common budget is assured. Let's imagine how Lithuania will change after the implementation of the project Rail Baltica. The project will certainly serve an impulse for business development. I would say that building a European track from the Lithuanian-Polish border to Kaunas and improving an infrastructure in the Polish side would create a particular situation of intersection of narrow and broad gauge tracks in one state, our state, nearby Kaunas. It means that we could propose very attractive conditions for the investments to the logistic management centers, warehouse constructions, overloading shipments going from the east to the west or from the south to the north. We already feel the concern in this field from China, Kazakhstan, South Korea, which are looking for the implementation of the project, which would allow them to launch a business of logistics management here. In July 2007, Lithuania, Latvia and Estonia have elaborated and synchronized the action plan of Rail Baltica. 
In 2009, a directorate of the project Rail Baltica has been established. Its mission is to implement the project according to the relevant decision of the government of the Republic of Lithuania. On the 7th of April in 2010, the government of the Republic of Lithuania has declared the project Rail Baltica of paramount economical importance. On the 29th of July 2011, the first portion of works has been completed on the Rail Baltica railway section Shashtoke Motskava. The narrow European gorge and the broad Russian railway gorge lines have been paralleled. Three bridges of the section have been reconstructed as well. On the 11th of October 2011, the Parliament of the Republic of Lithuania has declared the project Rail Baltica of fundamental national importance. What changes will affect the quality of loading business and passengers transit after the implementation of the project Rail Baltica? Practically, it was the great in reality, it means a renewal of our regular activities consisting in passengers and cargo convoy. It represents the main goal of Lithuanian railway. Bringing the track to Konas creates a high beneficial situation. The intersection of the Rail Baltica with Via Baltica aviation mode nearby Karmelova will develop additional possibilities for integration and multimodal system of conways. Thus a confluence of the broad and narrow gorge tracks nearby Kaunas is a well-tanned operation. Rail Baltica constitutes not only railing but also stations, loading terminals, rolling stock maintenance and repair sections. What new objects and new decisions have been foreseen to be developed in the Rail Baltica. The project will indeed reinforce the sector as the north course, which is not actually very well developed, and the south course being currently a successful auto road, will also launch the rail conways. A new opportunity to convey the major part of freights by the railway from the south to the north and vice versa will appear. Some citizens of our country feel concern about the eventual threat of noise and pollution associated to the exploitation of the new rail and rapid trains. Is it well founded? European Union's survey of this field proved that cargo conveys by railway represents the most ecological way of transport. It also deals with the pollution and noise reducing. According to the EU standards, a locomotive is able to tow a train comprising 50-52 train cars. Let's imagine a queue of about 50 cars and a single locomotive towing the same number of train cars or trailers. So, the pollution from 50 auto cars and a single locomotive is comparable. The exhaustion of carbon dioxide when speaking about the greenhouse effect or other carcinogens and heavy metals is markedly lesser in the railway. The railway is the most ecological type of transport. Speaking about the noise, it is to be noticed that the Rail Baltica foresees to operate the most progressive technologies. First of all, the long rails. The distance between junctures of actual rails is from 25 to 50 meters, whereas the range of long rails junctures is 800 meters. It means that there will be less junctures so many times, how many times 800 is less than 50. Thus the noise will be lesser as it depends on wheels and junctures beating. It is also foreseen to insert special fillers under the rails, which would temper wheels beating and reduce the noise. However, skeptics fear that economical benefit of the project is doubtable. According to them, it is not evident where the freight's flows are going to be concentrated. They assert that the European track will be built only to Konas and the Russian track will be abandoned beyond. Thus, freights will be transshipped nevertheless. Is it well founded? A great achievement to Lithuania is a new corridor, which is going to be shaped. It is pictorial called the Andriatica Baltica Corridor, as defined in the new vision of an interconnected Europe. 
The corridor and cargo go from the Adriatic Sea alongside the Baltic Sea. According to the declaration signed in Rotterdam by Benelux, Poland, Germany, France and Lithuania, a transport corridor rotterdam warsaw Konas is going to be formed in line with the new European concept the Rail Baltica as a connective service structure is a part of the above-mentioned corridors. We become a juncture of the most important forthcoming transport corridors. It has been demonstrated by the trip of the first shuttle train executed by private logistic management companies and realized by Lithuanian, Belarusian, Russian, Kazakhstan and Chinese railways. It has been relayed to the Polish railways and then to other European countries. The train consisting of 52 platforms has been conveyed from China to Europe in record time. Here it is the effect. Here we have a starting point of new cargo flows. Building the railway of European standard in parallel to the railway of Russian standard will allow developing a logistic chain, whereas creating a high-powered basis for cargo collecting, resorting and transferring. Actually, a private company is going to build an intermodal terminal in Motskova. Shashtoki terminal is already functioning. In the meantime, Shashtoki terminal proceeds increasing its capacities. The project of the terminal of bulk materials has been started to draft. A free economic zone is going to be developed in Mariampole nearby to the railway. A public logistic center will be designed and built in Konas. Development of infrastructure is essential not only for Lithuania, but also for Latvia and Estonia, which do not have yet as such like. All these efforts will contribute to the connection of the Rail Baltica and East-West corridors. It will enable a freight circulation in the North, South and East-West directions. Lithuania will anchor in the corridors of freight flows being a state of the gateway of cargo transit. After the implementation of the project Rail Baltica, the history of Lithuanian railways will open a new page. Rapid and express trains of European standard will connect our country to neighboring states even more closely. Riga, Tallinn, Warsaw and Helsinki will approach to our borders. Safe, comfortable and ecological railway will contribute not only to faster, safer and cleaner freight transit development, but also will be in service to each of us.